All right, so the farrier's here. And we weren't here. She beat us. And we live here. My lesson, Mom. You might be able to canter in your lesson? Yeah. Why? Because I cantered two steps yesterday. Yeah, she cantered two steps yesterday. And when the trainer's here, it's always different. So I think that she will. But canter. don't say. I won't tell. So Sophie asked the trainer if I ride bareback in my lesson, can I not canter? And she said, yeah, of course. I think she What? I think she'll like me around Yeah. So anyways, I'm excited about that, but you know what I'm really excited about? I'm really excited about the fact that Gabby got the go ahead with Chino to start riding him. <laughs> like, I was like, whoa! We took Chino's shoes off a long time ago, like last fall. And you guys know shoes can make horses feet go flat. And he already had flat feet to begin with. So, he had really flat feet. So every time he would ride, and, and even walking would be sore. So we had x-rays done, and we had a farrier. So anyway, we've been, to make a long story short, we've been working on his feet, slowly but surely. I thought it would take like a couple of trims. The vet thought it would take a couple of trims, but it's taken like a few trims, like four or something, or five, to really get him to where he's moving beautifully. Like the last few days, Gabby's been, when she's been walking him, she's been trotting him along outside and he's been like prancing almost. Like he just looks beautiful. Obviously that doesn't mean that he'll look like that under saddle. So we want to try him out now. Like it's time to try him out. It's time to try him out. His feet still have like some flat spots, but he has a little more concavity every time she comes. It's a slow process, she said. And some horses are slower than others. We give Chino so many supplements for his feet. Either it was a good day or, or people really like Storm. Why? Because none of my other TikToks got 3,000 views, and this one did. An hour ago, it went up a 1,000 views. Wow, one of your TikToks went up a three to 3,000 views? You hit the algorithm, that's why. And it's just me tacking up a Storm. Wow, good job. Probably like Storm. We're gonna try him under saddle, you guys. But we're gonna leave his scoop boots on. They're all an alternative to shoes, you guys know. The farrier's like, like, let's try him. Let's see how he goes. And we're not gonna do a lot with him and we're gonna take our time. And, but the best thing for him is to like build his muscle back and to be physical and to be working. So we hated seeing him off all this time. But if this works, oh. But if this works, you guys, honestly, it will have all been worth it. All this time that he's been off will be worth it. So anyways, Gabby's gonna try riding Chino today. Build up more of this booty. Like he doesn't, he loses muscle, like he's lost his top line. He's been off since the fall, but he still keeps like a lot of his, like he's got a big muscle here. Still has some cushion. <laughs> it's really the top line that has been affected by all that time off. But obviously he needs to build up slowly. But anyway, who knows? He might like not like being ridden. He might show signs of, of being too sore. I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's going to be okay. But anyway, Gabby's going to ride him today. So this one's for you, Lena. This is it. It's finally time. We didn't know when it was going to happen, when he was like going to be, you know, doing well enough to be ridden again. But... We waited it out and I'm so glad we did. Chores are done, barn is clean, we poop picked the paddock, took us a long time. <laughs> but it's gonna rain for the next five days, so I wanted to get as much out as I could. Our poop pile is growing by massive amounts. So I'm gonna go up to the house and have breakfast. It is 10 a.m., we ride at 11.30, and Gabby is gonna get to ride. I just can't believe it. Yeah. We're excited. I got your phone. I'm going out for lunch. When? At 1.30. Today? Yeah. <laughs> I don't ever go out anywhere without anybody. So, move her. What? You're bringing us home lunch? I'm going to Timmy's. So there's not really any lunch there. I but. want a ham and cheddar. <laughs> You can make a ham if you don't grab my ice cap too. Like. Oh, you can make a ham and cheddar sandwich at home. 
our chicken and our goose are out. Oh, they were both just laying down relaxing. <laughs> relaxing in the shade. I put this up to protect them from hawks and I put it up to protect them from like sun and stuff but we try and move this thing around all the time into the shade. She's so sweet. When she hears us coming she starts talking like that but the most thing that she does is when she hears Sophie she freaks out. Anyway they spend most of their day outside. We'll come out after Sophie's riding and we'll remove this into another area because they poop a lot in there and they eat all the grass. Like they'll eat all this grass. But we're still loving them. We especially love the goose. She's absolutely amazing. You can see the spots right here, like they ate all that. And then yesterday and the day before they were over in this area, you can see all the spots. You can see so much poop and the grass all brown. Door. I'm already ready. I love that butt. Uh-oh, storm. You have a gray hair. He has a gray hair. He's an old boy. He's not that old. I pluck that sucker. <laughs> You don't want gray hair. Look at his tail. It's actually looking. Cause I brush it every day. Well, it's every actually day. looking. Like well, you guys know what his tail looks like. That's from all the oil and the vitamins we give him. I bet you like that. No, I that's think not thick. I that spray stuff in it. Yeah, I can feel the spray stuff. It feels really good. But anyway, he's got some shake to it but actually people say they hate when horses bay out and some people even keep them in in the out of the sun so that they don't bay out but i love his butt like that it reminds me of like dapples hi handsome he's like, like do you have treats this thing never goes tight enough yeah so if he wants a new bear backpack i'm going to send this one to a friend what one this one uh we can never figure out how to tighten it i'm so excited I know, Sophie's obsessed with bareback now. Yeah, are you gonna ride bitless today? Storm liked it. Cause if I accidentally pulled on his mouth, it didn't like make him stop or hurt him. Yeah. And he still listens perfectly in this. Okay. That's cause Storm, he only has brakes. So has anybody noticed that Storm has calmed down a heck of a lot since we got him back? I'm gonna assume that most of you are saying, yes, I see a difference in him. So. I think the difference is you walk all the way down there. that he still gets grain, but when we before when we before we sent him to the lesson barn, he got a lot of grain. I don't think any horse needs as much grain as our horses were getting, and I think that's what caused him to to. I mean, he still has moments, <laughs> definitely, but he's so much more calm. He still gets grain, he just doesn't get as much. The two Bay Beauties are hanging out are still hanging out. Um, Gabby's going to probably come and ride during Sophie's lesson. So hopefully she does and we'll be able to get an idea how Chino's doing. Sophie got on and Storm was freaking out. <laughs> like seriously not happy. So she got off and we asked Gabby to do it. She was bareback and she did fine, but he was like fuming mad. And I think the reason is because he, all the other horses are still on grass and he came in off grass. See, he's looking at them. He's like, I do not want to do this. I'm going to the grass with my, with my girls. Very yeah, he's going a lot faster than he normally does. He's pretty smooth. Are you not going with dad? Better not fuck now. It's hard to not play off. I know, but you got to practice that. That's good practice. Spicy today. In miracles, but I always wish on a shooting star. Yeah, we never spoke of it. We never did go too far. I just wanted to tell you that you're perfect as you are.
Well, let's just try the back. Off. He's looking at him. See what he's looking at? He's looking at the field over there where his girls are. He's fighting because he wants to go to them. Sam and Sophie are bringing them <laughs> in because there will be no riding in this arena today <laughs> while anybody else is eating grass. <laughs> he definitely <laughs> doesn't like his herd having grass when he's not. So Sophie got on like that's huge improvement in itself the fact that storm was freaking out It's also good that when the storm tried to buck Gabby off Sophie was gone <laughs> Sophie's negotiating she's like I could maybe try a little bit of canter if I'm balanced enough <laughs> But I'm sure the I'm sure the coach has a plan Okay, so update, uh, Gino did really well. He, we're gonna send a video to the vet and see what he says, but I think he's okay. Like, I think he's okay to go. We're gonna keep riding him in his boots and also we tried him without the bit. So remember, before we put Gino off, he was riding in, we were trying out new bits and we had a new bit on and he was fussing so much with the bit. So we tried him with the bitless and he did a lot better. He seemed like he wasn't throwing Gabby around. So she was able to sit and do her thing a little bit better. So it's good. It was good. Like fingers crossed you guys. Let me find him a treat. We have sugar tea, sugar free treats for Chino. I'm going to make more of them tonight. One thing I noticed though, Chino seemed so happy to be out there. He was, ears were perked forward and he was like, let's do it. <laughs> he lost a lot of his, here, give him his treat. He lost a lot of his top line from being off for like the last nine months or so. Yeah, good boy. Uh, yeah, he can go in his stall with his fan and his lunch, have lunch. Chino can go in his stall and have lunch. Are you hot? <laughs> That's why you wear t-shirts. Oh. I'm wearing a t-shirt. That's not because like a t-shirt. The wind goes right through it. Do you have a shirt underneath it? Yeah. Layers make you heat up. Yeah, so, shorts and a t-shirt, that's what we wear in summer. So Sophie did amazing in her lesson. So good. What'd you end up doing? Walk track canner, stop, spin, canner. Everything that she does in her regular lesson, she did bareback and, and bitless. And what did your coach say? Um, that it helps with my balance. She's, and Storm loves her balance so much better. Yeah, less grouchy. Yeah, he, he's so like, he loves this. And so are you gonna continue with this? Yeah, we're gonna buy a new bear backpack. Yeah, so I talked to Here. the trainer and we're gonna do some shows by the end of the summer. By the, by the time the fairs start up, she'll be able to go to all the fairs. Bear back though. Um, I don't know what so once you ride bareback all the time you can you, you I want to say bareback. I know but it, when you show you probably have to wear a saddle and you'll be better in the saddle once you just practice everything I think bareback. I will be better bareback. <laughs> oh my gosh. It takes no you have to clean up the butt clean up sweep. Okay. Well, it takes every ounce of Sophie's concentration to balance herself when she's riding bareback that she doesn't worry or fuss about anything else. She's not like micromanaging every other part of her ride. So it helps her so much. It helps her concentrate. It helps her like, but the thing is, is that I've told her this for so many years. I've been like, you should ride bareback. You should ride bareback. And she's always said no, but suddenly she loves it. And I'm glad she does. And it's just, it was the same for Gabby at the same age. Gabby kind of started when she was 11, 12 and 13. We got really into it. Sophie's 13, probably 14, 15, and she'll be into it. Don't you know that you